I may have found the coolest AI tool that is out there. Introducing Screenshot to Code. This is a simple application that can convert a screenshot to code, whether that's HTML, Tailwind, you have React, Bootstrap, or many other different types of frameworks as well as libraries. It uses GPT-4 Vision to generate the code and Dolly E3 to generate similar looking images based off the screenshot that you provided it. You can now also enter a URL to clone a live website, which is also really amazing and convenient. Now just take a look at this example where you simply take a screenshot of Instagram and what screen to code will do is that it will basically take a couple of seconds to write the code based off of each component of this interface over here. Just take a look at this. Now you simply just take that screenshot of the Instagram uh, profile of Taylor Swift over here. You then add that screenshot to screenshot the code and it will start writing the code for each component of that screenshot so in this case it'll write the code for the follow button the message as well as source through different images based off of dolly e now obviously it's not going to be the best images but you can see that it creates like that base i would say structure for the code for what you want it to like basically generate now, I know this might be getting repetitive, but I really want to emphasize on our private Discord as it has been thriving a lot recently. There has been a lot of great things coming out of this as you can just see from this like image right here on the screen where we basically just had a new partnership where we are giving out paid subscription plans for Dataku. And this is an amazing a effortless and accurate approach for data extraction. Now, this is just an example of something that we do and work with. There's multiple different paid subscriptions that are given out to our Discord members for free. You simply become a member and you get access to various different AI tools across the month. And it's on different ranges of AI tools. It's not necessarily just data execution tools, but it's various different types of categories in the field of AI. Now. We don't just end up giving out free subscriptions to AI tools. We also give out various other different things like collaboration opportunities where people can basically work as a team to build applications. We have various networks. We have news outlets. We have resources as well as daily AI inputs. So definitely recommend you check out the Patreon link in the description below as I really wanted to emphasize what you guys are missing out on if you guys are not a part of this. Now, here are a couple more examples which showcase the usability of screenshots of code. Now, a user called .netster basically showcased a couple of examples as to what he was able to do with this. Now, he basically first started off by taking a screenshot of his inbox from his new product called Feedback HQ. And if you go to the next thing, he basically took a screenshot of this user interface and inputted it into screen to code. And he got this output basically, which was able to code out almost everything based off that code. Now you can see with this other example that it does much better, a much better job when you select the HTML plus Tailwind option. And this is another demonstration as to what it was able to code out based off that input that he gave for that screenshot. Now, another example we can see is that you can get simple layouts being created. So he basically was able to create this using screenshot to code, and it was able to give you this generation, which looks really, really good in my opinion. It coded everything, all the input tabs, all the buttons, as well as making sure that the logo inputs are also set. Now, if we go down even more, he was also able to showcase how it would look using Bootstrap. Now, obviously the Dolly images are not the best, so you might need to configure that so that you can get the best output for that. But you can get a gist out of this. It's gonna be something that anyone can use to code out a fully functional uh, page, whether that's a sign up page, a dashboard, or any sort of thing that you truly wanna code within a couple of seconds using GPT-4 Vision within screenshots of code. Now, throughout today's video, I'm just going to showcase what you can do with this, and I'm just going to specify a couple of the capabilities around this application. So, with that thought, guys, stay tuned, and let's get straight into the video. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business, or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. 
Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to take a look at screenshot to code. It's a simple application that you can basically fully code out based off of screenshots. It generates the code for you using GPT-4 Vision, and it can do various things with it based off the screenshot that you provide it. It can code using HTML and Tailwind. You can also use React as well as Bootstrap and Vue. This is a great way for beginners to possibly or not even just beginners just basic coders who can basically get the framework coded up for you using the screenshot to code application now for this you won't actually need a chat gpt pro account you simply just need to make sure that you have enough in the billing payment section and this is where you need to make sure that you have minimum of five dollars for this uh, if you go onto the screenshot to code application page you can see that to use screenshot to code you need to subscribe 100 generations for 15 dollars and basically you're able to use your own open ai api key with gpt4 vision access you don't actually need to upgrade to the premium plan you can just simply have enough billing linked so that it could use that billing for the generation now the great thing is that you don't actually need to install this you can just simply go onto their website and you can start generating the code based off the screenshots but you're also able to install this locally based off the installation method over here this is where the app has a react uh, front end and it has a fast api back end you just simply need to input your api key and you can start running this fairly easily on your local host you're also able to do this on the website as i stated it's fairly easy you can select what type of code that you want to work with you can use react plus tailwind bootstrap Vue plus tailwind tailwind sorry ionic plus tailwind as well as svg but the best results come with HTML plus Tailwind, as many people were able to see. You're also able to configure the generations as well. Input your API key over here, as well as making sure that if you do not want to use the DALI image generation, you can just simply turn it off. But it's fairly easy as that. You can then save this, and then you can start inputting the URL that you want to basically generate the code for, or you can simply just input the screenshot over here. You're also imp you're able to import from code as well, which is also a really unique thing that you can do with screenshots of code. Now let's take some time to take a look at some examples as to what you can do with screenshot to code. You can see that it was able to create a replica of the New York Times blog post with a simple screenshot, it was able to create the base code framework for that blog post. And you can see that even replicated some of the images using DALI. Now, obviously, if you go down, you can we saw this Taylor Swift example. But if you go down even more, we can see that Hacker News was also something that they were able to replicate. But it gets the colors wrong at first. So they actually nudged it to improve it. Now, if you click on this, let's take a look at this example. It takes a screenshot for hacker news okay now once they have taken the screenshot they inputted it into screenshot to code and we can see that it's giving you the code you can preview how it looks as well as it gives you the code for it so in this case you can also like refix certain generations by telling them or not telling them but telling screenshots of code to adjust certain things and in this case it tells it to change the header it changes the background it changes the, you can even ask it to change the font and this is the great thing about this because you can work hand by hand with this tool to basically generate whatever you want based off the context that you give it it also gives you the chance to copy the code as well which is really really cool so that you can even edit it further on your own and that's basically it for today's video on screenshot to code it's just a simple video showcasing new ai tech I truly thought that this is a really cool application that you should definitely take a look at because you can simply create a base framework for your code using this application and it could definitely save a lot of time for many coders. But with that thought guys, I'll leave all the links that I used in today's video in the description below. Make sure you check out the Patreon page if you wanna access our private Discord where you can gain different types of subscriptions to AI tools for free 
giveaways, collaboration, you have networking opportunities, and so much more. Make sure you follow us on Twitter to stay up to date with the latest AI trends. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.